Oh, what's up, everybody? It's uh, been a while, hasn't it? Uh, Grim coming back at you. Um, yeah. So, uh, thought I'd just go ahead and give you my thoughts on the uh, George LSU game. Uh, first of all, I want to start off by saying this, and I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. I want to congratulate George on doing what they did. Um, to start 0-2 and to fight the way they did was outstanding. They are a good football team. They're going to be great next year. Um, their defense is... South Carolina versus Georgia next year is going to be an interesting one. Uh, I, know that out of all, I know that out of all the uh, SEC matchups, uh, we've been the closest over the past uh, 10 years. I think we average about a uh, average, or average margin of difference per game is like 4.3 points or something like that. Um, yeah, it'll be... It'll be a damn good game. Um, but LSU is just the better team. And I mean, I, I think we saw this coming at the beginning of the game. Um, that first half was so nasty by Georgia. I mean, LSU's offense isn't that good. I know you can say it's not the best. Their defense is fantastic, but their offense is meh. Um, but Georgia looked fantastic in the first half, and they just let it go in the second half, and you know, I mean, that's just what LSU does, they wear you down, they did to Arkansas, they did to, no, Auburn, hell, they did it to Alabama, now, um, there's a lot of stuff to look up for you, for you Georgia fans, and like I said, I give you all the props in the world because most teams, when they start 0-2 like that, they just quit. They just die. And you guys fought and capitalized on a mistake we made. Um, you know, I mean, I like I like Garcia. I liked him as a quarterback, but his legacy at the end of the day is going to come down to that Auburn game. And uh, he cost us it. He, he just cost us it. And... Uh, you know, I'm not saying we would have fared any better versus LSU. We probably would have had very similar results. Our defense, much like Georgia's, is very good. Probably would have been like 10-7 going into half, and they would have just worn us down. Um, so what are you going to do? You know, I mean, Georgia, going to go into a bowl game, going to win the bowl game, uh, have a good showing. Um, show the SEC, show up some pride for the SEC, and you know, it'll be it'll be nice. Um, as far as South Carolina goes, oh, before I get into that, LSU will play Alabama. I hope because Alabama is much better than. Let me put it this way: Alabama lost to LSU nine to six in overtime. Um, Oklahoma State lost to. Uh, Let's see who they lost to. They lost to some fantastic team. Oh, oh God. Um. Oh yeah, Iowa State. I'm just saying. I mean, honestly, it did. My friend put it the best. If Alabama had lost to Kentucky, this would make sense. But they lost to LSU. Oklahoma State lost to Iowa State in a shellacking. That's all I'm going to say. I think it should be Alabama LSU. You know, no matter which team goes, I think it'll be a good game. But, eh. Um... As far as where South Carolina is going to fall, I think we'll end up in the Capital One Bowl, probably versus Nebraska. It'll be an interesting little game. Uh, we're going to probably end up with Nebraska no matter what, but I think but I think we'll go to the Capital One Bowl. Um, I know I'm wrapping things up because I haven't been able to make a video in a while, but you know, I have to borrow computers and it's kind of hard for me to get access to computers. Um, 
Let's go to his let's go to those comments Dabo made because I was planning on making a video about this earlier this week. Dabo responding to his comments that Steve Spurrier then makes. Steve Spurrier's comment in quotes is, "We're not LSU or Alabama." That's his quote. Now a local radio personality added, "At least we're not Clemson." It got tweeted as a quote by Spurrier. Dabo, responding to the quote by Spurrier, essentially proved what a fucking retard he is. Hmm. Well, let me see. Dabo Sweeney's record as a head coach is 28-18. Okay. Um. I'm just saying. 28-18. Uh. You can say that that's a good record. You can say what the fuck you want. I I don't care. Spurrier is 54 and 35. Um, but that's the SEC. Okay. Clemson is in the ACC. You lose to Georgia Tech. You lose to NC State. We lose to Auburn. We lose to, we lose to Arkansas. Let's put the two best teams in those two losses together. Arkansas versus Georgia Tech. Arkansas rolls. Auburn versus NC State. I'm sorry, my friends at NC State. I know you guys are watching this video right now. You know, you all my boys, but... Auburn rolls. What I'm saying is Dabo's Dabo's little throwing up numbers saying we won X number of conference championships doesn't mean shit. It doesn't. Cause honestly, what's he won? Oh, you beat Virginia Tech, a extremely overrated Virginia Tech team. Congrats. You won the ACC championship. Congrats. Um, let me explain something to uh, Mr. Mr. Sweeney. There are more than ju there are more sports than just football. We dominate you in every other sport. Eight national championships. You got four. We've destroyed you in baseball over the past couple years. Just saying, and. For you to pretend for a second, like just because, just because, you know, you've lost three games in a row, you can run back and hide behind your history. Three games in a row, last time I checked, is a pretty big accomplishment. Um, quite frankly, you can brag the overall record all you want, but who's got bragging rights this year? That's all I'm gonna ask you, Mister, Mister, Mister Sweeney. Um, on a side note. I just I just want to say this a little story about Clemson. Um, <laughs> a few years back, uh, a buddy of mine was at Clemson. Yeah, poor guy. And he went to a party, a little party called Living the Dream Day. It was thrown by several fraternities at Clemson, and uh, essentially what they did is they dressed up with grills in their mouths, with black face paint and body pain, and wore wife beaters and torn blue jeans on Martin Luther King Day. It was called Living the Dream Day. See, that's Clemson. That's what you are, Clemson. You're trash. And I know there are some good Clemson fans on you, and, you know, maybe you get a black eye from the university itself. Maybe you're a Clemson fan in spite of what the fuck your university does. But at the end of the day, we've won the last game we played in football. We won the last game we played in baseball. And at the end of the day, as an overall program, we're just better than you right now. So quite frankly, you can take your record and stick it where the sun don't shine, because I don't give a shit about that. Uh, you know, until next time, this is Grim saying...